Hello, and welcome back to the Building with App Sheet series. I'm Christian Schalk, a Google Developer Advocate, and in this episode, we'll build on what we started in our last episode by showing how to use multiple tables together in AppSheet. We'll also cover some other useful new concepts along the way. Let's get started. So in this next demo, I'll be extending the tasks application from the prior episode. I'll show how to connect the tasks table to a new owners table using an app sheet reference. Additionally, to provide better visibility to the owners data, I'll add and customize a new owners view. Before jumping into the demo though, here's some more information on app sheet references and relational data. App sheet references allow your apps to support relational data. In database terms, relational data simply means that records in one table refer to one or many records in another table. This is important because business apps pretty much always have relational data. App sheet references are implemented with a special ref data type, which can be applied to a column in a table that refers to another related table. For the ref column to work though, it needs to have the same name as the other table it's referring to. You'll see in a moment that AppSheet can automatically recognize relations in data and apply references automatically. Incidentally, this works the same with either Sheets or SQL databases. Let's now return to our Tasks demo app and extend it with a new owners table. So here's the underlying Tasks sheet that we used in our prior episode, but you'll also see that I've updated it. I've added a new owner column here, and this owner column now also refers to this new owner's table. So they're essentially the same name, the owner column referring to the owner's table, except for this owner's table now has the full information for each owner. And because it's the same name, AppSheet will then recognize that these two tables are related. So let's go ahead and test that. We'll generate a new application. So you select the AppSheet, create an app option directly from Google Spreadsheets. And we'll now set up a new application in AppSheet. And so here we are, we have our new app. It's fully functional, uh, but you'll see that it only has the tasks table. So it gives us the option to add a new table for owners. But before I do that, I wanna show you something very quickly. Let's take a look at the columns. And so here's the columns for this tasks table. It all looks, uh, you know, as we'd expect, and we can see the owner, the data type for the owner column is of type email. Um, so now um, I'm going to create a new table for owners. So let that take a few seconds and it will generate the new table. And now we have both tasks and owners together. And before continuing, I'm going to take a quick look at the columns again for the tasks table. You'll see that the owner column as the data type has been updated to ref, whereas previously it was email, but now it's a ref. And it's a ref data type because it's now referring to a owner's table. And here's the owner's table that the column is referring to. And these columns all pretty much match up, but you'll notice that there's a new related tasks column. Um, and this is actually a virtual column. So let's open that up to explain this a bit more. So first off, it's a virtual column, meaning that it's calculated on the fly, and it's using this app formula, which is essentially just using this ref underscore rows function to link the tasks and owners table together. And so that is what allows these tables to work together. All right, so now I'm closing up the data and let's, uh, the tables that is, and let's take a look at the app. So the app itself, it has, the, of course, the task information, but now you can see I can see the owner of the tasks and I can even drill down on individual owners and see their related tasks. So this all works perfectly good. Although I think I might want to update the app a little bit. I want to make it so that I can start from an owner's view, meaning that I can see all the owners in one view and be able to drill down on each owner individually. So how would I do that? Well, it's actually quite trivial. All I have to do is click on the UX tab here and then click on new view. So now I have a new view and I'm going to name it owners. And for this data, I'm going to, of course, select the owners table. And now it's just a matter of customizing this new view. And so I notice, like uh, in this particular case, I'm going to use the deck view. So that gives me a nice UI that I can see all the owners in one glance. Uh, I can also change the position of the uh, link. So in this case, it's set to the left side. I could try it out on the right side uh, or just switch it back over to the left side here or where I want it. Okay. 
And finally, if I wanted to maybe toggle a few other features, like for example, changing the image shape, I could select the round image. Uh, but in this case, actually, I'm gonna go ahead with the square image. Uh, so that's basically it. Those are all the updates I'm gonna do for this particular app at this time. And uh, let's go ahead and try out the app a little bit. So starting with the owner's view that I just added, I can say click on a particular owner and drill down on the respective tasks that this owner um, owns. And maybe I want to update a particular task, complete budget proposal, that is. And so let's go ahead and change a few things here. So I'll go ahead and click on the edit link and maybe I'll, I'll set the uh, due date to a later date. And then I'm gonna go ahead and reassign the owner to, to be someone else. In this case, I'll select Susan Spencer to be the owner. So then I'll click save, and now it's momentarily syncing back to the spreadsheet. So let's take a look at the uh, data inside the spreadsheet. So here we have the same task, and you'll see that it's got the updated uh, date, and it's also got the updated owner. So you can see in rather just a, a few trivial steps, I was able to create a fully relational database web application uh, without much effort at all. So for more info on AppSheet, Google Cloud, and Google Workspace, check out these links and also in the description below. And for more videos like this, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching.